So hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's video. Uh, I'm Dr. Rishabh Jain and today I have with me Sankeet, uh, who I think needs no introduction now because uh, he secured All India Rank 2 in this uh, INICT November 2022. And so I thought that I'll uh, take Sankeet's uh, non-coaching non type of video to like talk in general about his strategy of preparation during MBBS rather than focus on more of the PG part during internship and later. Because Sankeet is someone who has uh, read throughout his MBBS and a lot of people have this doubt that when we start PG preparation, uh, how do we actually go about it from there. So uh, a brief introduction about Sankeet. Sankeet is a 2017 batch Amesonian. Uh, he is a junior of mine from Ames. Uh, I am 2012 batch Amesonian. And uh, he's from Bangalore. And uh, uh, over to you Sankeet, C congratulations for the great rank. And so uh, welcome to residency now. <laughs> yeah, that's going to start soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Sankit, we'll just briefly talk about ki how did you, when did you start your PG preparation and uh, how did you start your PG preparation with what in mind. So, so I tell you a brief thing about AIMS uh, academy schedule in general. So, we have three profs and like four profs uh, in the rest of the country. So after second prof, uh, we have two years free for uh, studies during which we usually have clinical uh, clinical post rotations and uh, lectures in the LTs. So Sankit, how did you plan ki I will manage three things simultaneously because there are on there are live lectures which are going on, there are clinical postings which are going on and simultaneously there is a parallel coaching that is going on. So how did you manage and combine all these things? So honestly I feel like uh, the classes which are going on is hard to manage along with your coaching. So my coaching thing primarily started from my third and fourth year. So my attendance in classes did go down but I did not let that compromise the posting. Mm -hmm. So my main focus at the first two years was to attend classes and read textbooks. Whereas in the third and fourth year was for coaching as well as posting. So I accordingly prioritized what I could do in that limited time frame. So in the first two years it was always read textbooks and attend classes until there was the end of second professionals. That's when the clinical subject started, that's when postings became all the more important and attending those while having your coaching notes as a backbone for you to read because you have less amount of time and trying to dive into textbooks at that point of time is a little overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. So a coaching note backbone is great and over which you add, you add your posting stuff because you should know that at the end of the day everyone does remember the coaching stuff so what sets you apart is what like the bits and, bits and pieces you get from posting so that is something that will help uh, with your... Yeah I think uh, having co posting schedule as your main schedule helps because uh, the time duration of that posting schedule is a little, let's say, most of the co postings are around 25 to 30 days and uh, you get time to read at least complete around 50% to 60% of the subject during that posting and simultaneously you get interacted with the patients and residents also take your class. So overall I think a, a very complete uh, atmosphere for you to finish your subject. Yeah, so that is one aspect. So how so in third year, when you were in third year MBBS, which all subjects did you complete or read? So in my third year, I actually focused more on the major chunks, that is the medicine, surgery, obscenia and peds. Okay. So that was my main focus at that point of time and minors I did more in my fourth year. Okay. So uh, I started out with obscenia. I do love obscenia and yeah. I, uh, <laughs> it's like a huge passion of mine. So obscenia I started, I had the coaching notes as the backbone and I used to attend postings. And in our postings also we had very rigid schedules like on today we will discuss only PID, in, there will be a PID lecture and there will be a class or case on PID and then subsequently you will go back home and read PID. You will re have enough time to read that small snippet of PID from a textbook say Shishadri or JB Sharma or something and then you can add that to your primary notes. So I used to always make sure that if I read anything new, I have written it down somewhere. I don't okay. trust my memory enough to yeah, yeah. remember it in the long run. Yeah, yeah. So you write it down somewhere, that to somewhere where you know it's organized. So don't write it down in some random notebook you find. Find that PID topic in your thing and write it down there. And sometimes in postings I get it, it's overwhelming to try and put all this information together. So I used to make like a small sticky note of it in my phone only. So add on whatever new I added and then come back in the evening and add it in my wherever respective part of the notes I have. Okay, so one, uh, so for extra things that you read on, read in during posting, you added, to, did, added it uh, in your sticky notes or your OneNote app or whichever app you have in your phone. Uh, and for the main textbook, for the main notes, you had your iPad. Yeah. Just way you used to add extra stuff from different sources, all digital. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure, all digital sources. Okay, 
so uh, so you completed opsen peets kitna how much like if 100% medicine is to be covered for prof or pg mm-hmm. so how much did you cover it during your third year so uh, medicine like the coaching material i finished all of it in my third year okay but i didn't i didn't read harrison like honestly okay. that i feel like that's my shortcoming but okay. uh, i didn't read harrison i mean that did give me time to read other stuff other stuff yeah i think harrison Percy is not very essential to crack PG or get a good rank, uh, good rank in uh, MBBS exit exams as well. It is something if you want, you are passionate about medicine, you like reading medicine. A lot of students do read end up reading medicine. For them, it's a very good source. But like, I want to make it clear that it's not essential to get a good PG rank or it's not essential to like top MBBS, right? So during your third year, you completed a major chunk of medicine. I would say yeah. during your third year, from your coaching notes. Yeah. Uh, plus videos, whatever you saw, yeah. and uh, you had a first reading during that time. Yeah. So for surgery, pediatrics, so community medicine. Community medicine is honestly one thing that I did not focus on okay. at all <laughs> until my exam, until like my final professional exam. Literally two months before is when I started community medicine. Uh, apart from that, when we ha- we have this village posting in our seventh semester, so there I did l- the little bit of coaching material that I needed to pass the assessment. So uh, community medicine is something I didn't really focus on that much. I didn't read parts. I didn't. Uh, I just did the coaching material minimum, okay. and th- I mostly did like uh, the, those notes and bio stats. I did with a little more interest because I liked bio stats. That's mm-hmm. all. Right, right. And bio stats is something which is uh, also important if you are someone who's focusing on I N I C T. Okay, so third year. Uh, if I summarize, all your major subjects were sort of first read mm-hmm. uh, from your base coaching material, plus extra knowledge that you got from uh, coaching. Sorry, uh, from rotations in clinics, and plus minus some major textbooks. Yeah, so I'll focus a little bit. In third year, me, what were the major textbooks that you read apart from Harrison? Because you said you didn't read Harrison. So for surgery, I read like half of Bailey's, like whatever were the important topics in Bailey's. And uh, for pediatrics, I surgery nothing else I did. I didn't even do any clinical examination textbook properly. I okay. just saw like S D A S videos on YouTube, okay. and that's all I did for okay. my clinical examination. Yeah. Also. yeah. And then uh, for pediatrics, I did focus a lot on Gai, uh, because our postings also were very particular. The Anu Ma'am and stuff we wanted answers exactly from Gai. Yeah, yeah. So and Gai, uh, I think is very is one book which is sort of complete. Like it is complete in pediatrics for I think both M B B S as well as P G. So you did read Gai. I did read Gai, and I made notes out of it also. Whenever I would read any topic in Gai, I would structure my notes properly. Ki like what information is being conveyed. For instance, if you have any disease, break it down into clinical features, investigations, management, prognosis, and these four tables. Like I, these four points, I would have for everything, okay. and it make, becomes very convenient to revise it because Gai is often a little hard to revise at the last yeah, moment. Yeah, 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 and it's very condensed knowledge. Like it's like reading an NCERT because. They if if they have to make five points out of it, they'll write it one next to each other, not like one down below each other. Yeah, that was so annoying. Like <laughs> yeah. one, two. I was like, who exactly. writes? Like, yeah, exactly. And it it is like very condensed, very high yield, final information. So I'll tell you one thing that even MD exit exam students also read Gai for their exit exams. It is so concise and so uh, condensed knowledge. Yeah. So you did uh, Gai, uh, Bailey's. Uh, what about uh, Gaini? Gai me because I overdid it, frankly because I really liked it. So I did Sheshadri cover like pura, and I also did uh, like the flow charts from J B Sharma, okay. like all of J B Sharma's flow charts, and I read contraception in little more detail because they asked a lot of questions in the viva about it. But um, that's more or less, and a little bit of Williams also I saw, but I didn't really read it too much. I just read it for a past time. So, so mainly Sheshadri is what I focused on along with coaching ones. Okay. So third year you had almost all the major subjects covered. So how did you go about it? Huh? Another major thing, party के साथ कैसे manage करते थे? Right? Because MBBS में third year is some is one prof which is less academically heavy and in which like people explore, explore their life, people like go out and party a lot. So वो कैसे manage किया इस whole study state? Like I feel a large chunk of this was stolen away from me because we had COVID. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I was locked up in this very room, honestly. Like I I didn't leave the campus during COVID. So मेरा तो बहुत ऐसे strict schedule सा था कि एक दो घंटे I'll read. and then there'll be some online class or something going on so I'll attend that and then the in the remaining time I used to cook I used to like exercise and stuff like that and other part parties used to happen like maybe um, at that point of time nothing used to happen there was one infamous party that happened but uh, let's not talk about that <laughs> but uh, when party started happening I would attend like one in about 3 months okay okay I think थोड़ा रिस्ट्रिक्ट तो करना ही पड़ता है स्पेशली वेन यू आर इन एट्थ मेरे तो फाइनल फाइनल ईयर में आता है ना कि आई थिंक लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल डू बी कैन सीरियस लोग एम बी बी एस में चलते हैं कि अब बूढ़े हो गए हम बहुत एम बी बी एस कर लिया है अब लाइक 
Okay, you have to study. You definitely need a release. And <laughs> like birthday parties are very chill, but then when you want to party hard, it's like not that frequent. Yeah. For yeah. me, it was like once in three months. That's it. Okay. Okay. Right. So come fourth year, you have your final prof coming, and the new set of lectures, new set of rotations. How did you go about it? So in our final year, again there was COVID. Uh, but apart from that, uh, we had our minors. So let's go with each minor, I guess. Right, right. So uh, first, let's talk about psychiatry. In psychiatry, I had the coaching notes, and over and above that, I read Praveen Tripathi as a textbook. So okay. I read that cover to cover, and we used to revise that for everything. In community medicine, also we had in the part of this was psychiatry was there. So yeah, yeah. Um, so everywhere it would somewhere get revised. Yeah. yeah. So psychiatry, to essay. I didn't have. I, I think Dr. Praveen Tripathi notes a lot of uh, reviews I've heard. It. It's pretty good. It's very concise also. It's not motivating, you know, textbook. So it is something that you can read also and revise also, and it, it covers everything. Yeah. Then for Dharma, uh, during our postings, there was a lot of stress on reading Nina Khanna. So I did read Nina Khanna a lot, and there was a point in my time where I thought I'd take Dharma. So again, I took <laughs> it like a little more seriously. <laughs> So uh, Nina Khanna was very nice. The images and all are super nice. So yeah. I made a separate folder of the images so that I made flashcards out of those. I used okay. Anki for uh, Derma. Okay. So I made flashcards out of those. So Anki is an app. Yeah, Anki is this app that uh, gives you spaced repetition information on like it. You can make flashcards on it. You have okay. a front side and a back side. Okay. So you can add some question in the front side and then the answer will be on the back side. Okay. And based on how fast you get the answer or not, you can score the card. Agar bahut aasani se hua, then the system on its own will show the card again after a long time. Okay. Agar bahut mushkil hai, to jaldi wapas dikhayega ye. Acha, that that's an interesting yeah. app. That's an interesting like kind of a fails tests you kind of. Yeah. Self assessment sort of thing, right? And derma is one subject in which uh, the exam is also a lot image based. So mm -hmm. I think doing that uh, really helped you. That was nice, yeah. Okay. So you can take out the images from Meena Khanna and do that as a separate thing during your derma posting. Apart from that, the um, for derma, so that's it. Just the coaching material as well as Meena Khanna. Then uh, what is the next minor? Ofta. Okay. Ofta. So for Ofta again, there was a point in my time where I thought I'd take Ofta. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm very confused. That's what you can take from this. Uh, so for still Ofta, doesn't know what he, he's going to take in residency because if a rank two comes, then the whole thing like flips. Yeah. So go ahead, Ofta. So yeah, Ofta was. Um, Mostly there was uh, coaching notes, so which I used as a review book, and over and above that, I used to take the images from Kansky. So Kansky is a very in-depth book. It's too much information, obviously, for like uh, UG. But the images are really beautiful. And since Ofta, even in your PG questions that come are mostly image-based, it was high output to just look at those images from every topic that you read. So whenever I would see, uh, say, some random kind of, let's see what some. corneal dystrophy or something i would see then obviously i would need a good image to remember what corneal dystrophy mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. so i take out the image from kansky a screenshot of that and put it next to these notes so that was pretty helpful and, and so so uh, which topic which sub, sub specialty from kansky did you read retina cornea lens i didn't read anything from kansky sorry the images the images, the images i saw for everything for oh, all cases right. so jobi uh, whenever i felt like the images are not nice in any textbook i would take it out from there Okay. So more or less, I have like this PDF which has all of the images in it. Okay, so minus for derma, for you have a separate flashcard of sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So off the you had a separate uh, PDF sort of thing. Right? So mostly I was focusing on images also in both those minors. I was just focusing on images. So derma is a hobby, and uh, then there is ortho. Ortho, I uh, tried reading Apley's in my UG. And that is too much. Like I felt like I was just reading it for the sake of reading it, more than anything going in my head. <laughs> so then I was like abandoned it midway, and I was like, okay, let's just do a coaching material, and then that's all. So ortho, I didn't focus on too much. I just did. Uh, I think ortho for PG also it is very coaching based stuff. Now they ask very PG type stuff. A lot of clinics or image based stuff. They still not into it. But uh, yeah, I think ortho you read coaching stuff mainly. Coaching. Then there is uh, uh, ENT. 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 I did the coaching stuff, and over and above that, I did a little bit of dingra. Basically, whatever they ask in prof. Okay. Like those brief topics I did, and instruments and all that stuff, which was mainly from the instruments, X-rays. I did from dingra. Then there is uh, okay, that's anesthesia. 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 Again, coaching material. Nothing more than coaching okay. material. Okay. Okay. So uh, this was my obs gynae notes. I have segregated uh, the topics into obstetrics and gynecology. I use PDF expert primarily. and here is like most of my coaching notes and for instance when i click on the obstetrics it's divided into topics 
and you if for instance if you want to read twin pregnancy you can just navigate to there or if you want to read something about the fetal skull you can just go there so these are all the topics in obstetrics and then following all the topics in gynecology now one drawback to using pdfs is that naturally you can't uh, do ocr like you can't search for a word but then um, i did that Okay, so whatever PDF you had for your coaching notes, so whichever coaching notes you use, you had a you have a PDF of their notes, so you converted those PDF into searchable PDF using an app called Quick Scan. Quick so, Scan. Okay. Um, basically, here if I want to add a new PDF, uh, then I ex- import a PDF, and for instance, it is um, something. Let's some say it's first aid. First aid. Okay. First aid uh, will come here say for instance I'm not able to search in first aid yeah. assume it's like a naked PDF then I will export it uh, with OCR enabled okay. so OCR is basically optical character recognition whatever optical characters it can see in the text it converts it to some sort of uh, specific characters so that will enable you to now search content on your PDF and it becomes okay. a very convenient tool for PG prep okay so that uh, OCR converted PDF now was your base material in which you would first read uh, the entire PDF and let's say if you're reading a textbook, let's say Dhingra you're reading for ENT, you'd open it on a split screen side by side and uh, let's say there is a table in Dhingra uh, which is a concise uh, concise table, you'll add extra stuff to that table, take a screenshot of that table and then put it in your OCR PDF. Yeah, for instance here you can see Sheshadri and its flowchart and some stuff that I've added in the text of Shishadri to the flowchart and then I took a screenshot of that flowchart and put okay, it Okay, great, great. So this was like how you consolidated your uh, PDFs. Okay. So uh, for instance, uh, this is my uh, PG prep uh, OneNote folder in which this is OpsGyne. So here I had segregated the information into like tables that I would understand better and would be better to revise in the last minute. For instance, I was always bad at remembering values. So I had a table that was only for values. For instance, all the weeks of termination of every kind of uh, pregnancy and uh, some random numbers about fetal movements and drug dosing and uh, for instance, uh, purperium ka numbers, all of it was saved in one place. And for I also have another folder on all the eponyms on the criterias for different uh, things and as well as the procedures and their eponyms. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, if you're someone who's starting uh, from his third year uh, coaching, and I think third year is a pretty good decent time to start, especially since first and second year a little academic heavy and you've just come out from the PMT uh, phase and you want to like chill and relax a bit in MBBS. I think third year is a pretty good time to start. Uh, it get, gives you a lot of time to read Clinics have also started simultaneously, so you get interest in uh, similar subjects and all. And uh, if you're someone who's starting from third and fourth year, I think this strategy with Shankar is followed um, should help you. And uh, all the very best for your upcoming exams. And I wish Shankar all the best for the residency. Thank Hope you to so see, see you soon as a junior in residency. And uh, goodbye and all the best.